Marissa. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another sit down on Spotlight On. I'm your boy, Cortez G. West. I have two awesome gentlemen in the studio with me today. You just wait and see. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back <laughs> to another sit down of uh, Spotlight on. I am your boy, Cortez G. West. Feels good to be back in here to have some awesome dudes in here. The energy is amazing in here today, which is always going to make a good interview. I have the two guys that have been on my television since the 1990s. Damn. Oh, okay. God. It's <laughs> really... <laughs> wow, thanks. Hey, <laughs> Why well, you gotta put it like that, man? <laughs> I mean, they, but here, what my shirt say? Black don't crack, so they still look the same, right? I know, I need to put a lotion on. Welcome to the studio, my man Dorian Wilson and Ken Lawson, man. What's going what's on? Up, what's up? What's going on, guys? <laughs> same old, same old. Man, yeah, thanks for working. Man. Thanks for taking some time out and sit with little old me <laughs> over here with Maria Minonos. Yeah, we like yeah. it. <laughs> Wait, it's like hot. It? Yes. It's hot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, that's Cali, it's, man. It's, right about now, it's, it's, it's blazing. What's yeah. up with these sand fires, man? Who, who causing the sand fires? Oh, oh my goodness, man. They need to catch those guys. <laughs> <laughs> man, I just came back from New Orleans, and, uh, you know, you, Orleans. that heat, though. Mm, I'm done. Is it different, though, than... Different it's that humidity. You yeah. you walk oh, out man. the door and you're like, oh, man. <laughs> you know, yeah. you gotta <laughs> take like three showers. Yeah. Man, it's allowed. It is man. allowed. <laughs> so we're here to talk about your new show on Bounce TV. It was actually, the second season, so I don't, I don't even want to call it new. I'm just gonna call it a, a hot show. I actually like that. I'll be honest with you. Season two. I didn't know. Season, <laughs> season, season two. two. Yeah. Which you probably gonna get season nine. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna put One that out in the universe. We only hope so, man. Yeah, yes. We're gonna put We're that gonna out in the universe. Yeah, yeah, claim it, man. That's, that's a lot of seasons. Yeah. In the cut. I even like the name of the show because it kind of like goes with the whole theme of the show. Plus, at the fact, it's like in the cut. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. And Dora, you play actually. I was gonna let you answer. Uh, I'm feeling the blanket. Like I played. Girl, played. you played the shop only, Jay. Hey, okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Jay Weaver. <laughs> he, does. Uh, he is the shop owner. Uh, I own uh, a beauty shop and a barber uh, uh, barber shop with my ex-wife, mm -hmm. who is played by Jack A. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> so it's so funny, man. Like uh, 20 years ago, I played her boyfriend mm -hmm. on Sister Sister. Sister now, yep. you know, full circle 20 mm -hmm. uh, years later. <laughs> Here we go with those numbers I'm again. Her. And she uh, probably and watched like, Wait, don't tell me. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying. But we're rolling back the years. But anyway, uh, we own this uh, barbershop beauty salon together, so we have to uh, get along with each other. And right, right, sometimes right. we really don't so well. <laughs> this. Brother, yeah, shows up at my doorstop, man, yeah. and uh, <laughs> yeah, hey, you know, I'm his uh, illegitimate 31 year old son, you what? know, still yeah. the 31, I'm what? 31, yeah, and yeah. I, I don't even look 31, yeah, that's what I'm told, you know, since we're talking numbers, right. since we're talking numbers, not 31. Yeah, well, I don't yeah. look like I gotta have a 31 year old, but uh, they gray my hair, and uh, nah, I'm just oh, saying, they did, they did, they, they, they did, they, you should have did, they, that's, you, they, well, they put this yeah, stuff, this is oh, my, okay. yeah, 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 but anyway, he shows up. Uh, you know, uh, I take him in, and you know, it, the the show was so great because it's not only a comedy; it's mm -hmm. uh, you see the dramatic side of uh, both of these mm -hmm. men trying to get along and establish this relationship, uh, and vie for you know how are we gonna get along, how are we gonna establish something that you know has never been there before. Yeah, I like the show, um, and we'll, well get good. more into it. I, we'll get more <laughs> into you. it. Well, my reason of liking the show is because it's not. Is not showing uh, people of color in a different way to where it's always negative. Right. Right. And it's, I do see some reality in there as well. In, yeah. In today's families. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, let me just um, throw this out there. The the reason I love this situation mm -hmm. so much is because there are so many, not just African American across the board. Yeah. People who have lost their loved one, their parent, or somebody that they you know have not seen for many many years, not raised with. Uh, or whatever, so everybody can identify with uh, that situation. Yeah, most definitely. So, it, and it's not just a, a dude, you know, mm -hmm. a son, uh, father and son. It, you know, women and you know, haven't seen the father. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of families that are, have been broken up. You yeah. know, uh, just 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 life. Yeah. You know, and, and it's amazing 
how you can try to mend these families together and you end up getting introduced to this aunt, introduced to this right, uncle. Yeah. And, you, and you never, you know, you never know your, your personality ends up saying, hey, man, I'm I'm just like Uncle Johnny yeah. over here, you know? And, and that's or how I was it is. dating my sister. Yeah, right? like, oh, damn. <laughs> no, that's nasty. Yeah, you that up my history. That's nice, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that's just nasty. That's the third season. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's next season right But there. no, yeah. so before we get into, really get into the show and get yeah. into you guys and what you guys got to have on outside of In The Cut and everything else, mm -hmm. all right? I want to play a quick game with you guys, all right? Oh, man. Bye. <laughs> I don't play no games. Yeah, I don't play no games. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be something a little quick. You uh -huh. know, you guys, we all know you both played um, at the parks at the same time. That was an awesome show for me I to come that home. Was that was you? That was you? What? That was him? Right. Uh, he has a little hair now. but yeah. uh, okay. Okay. And you have a twin. Yeah. That's right. Right. Got it. Got it. They know about that. All right. Guy. So how are we going to do this? <laughs> <laughs> so how are we going to do this? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to quote a line. That was one of you all's lines. See, he's cheating already. See, Dorian over there cheating. Oh, no. I can't. You know I can't see that I said game. Dorian was like, <laughs> I'm going to say a quote. I may, I may get a little acting coming out. Right. Here we go. And you have to say, that's my line. The game is All called, right. that's my line. You're going to be like, that's my line. That's my line. But you well, also but have to try to guess what, him answer what episode it was. <laughs> All right? This ain't oh, happening. Wow. It never happened. It you, doesn't have to be the name. Do you this realize we did 110 episodes? That's yeah, why this is going to be fun. This is some bull. This is a bad game of Jeopardy here. Let me tell you what we did. We tried our best to actually go through all seasons of season five of the Parkers and okay. try to get the most, you know, specific quotes out. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. True. All right. The first right. one, we're going to go with this. <laughs> Man, we can't go out like no punks. We got to stand up and show these guys we mean business. Mm. I wouldn't say that, so it must be you. Uh, that's, that's my line. That's my line. I don't line. think you remember that. Yeah, man. No, but I know the that professor was, uh, yeah. said that, so. Yep, that was episode I, I could, uh, right. one, one, one that seven. One. That yep, one? That one when the... When the what? That, when the... When, yeah, and the lap when that... Yeah, Can man. you give us a line again? Gotta watch that again. So, man, we, man, we can't go out like no punks. We gotta stand up and show these guys we mean business. Remember that happened? No. I don't know. Mm -mm. No. You remember the episode when uh, Kim found that money in her car? And it was like two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, oh. that was season one. That was like season like I said one to five. Oh, we man. said you concentrating on season five. I was no, I did. I said I went from one to five. That was one tricky. to five. That's that. That was some other episode. Yeah, right. That was a hell of a month. And I didn't write that down. I just right remember. There, man. Yeah. I didn't even write that down. All right, I that's just remember. Man, yeah, right. that, that was too easy. <laughs> uh, bling bling your butt right out of my face. I'm oh, gonna say him again. Oh, wait, wait, out of your face. I, yep. I must be talking to Miss Parker. Ah! ah. <laughs> no. Oh! It was you, but it was you talking to Veronica See? And the, at the spa. Yeah! And at the bling bling you song. I, I, was, I was just about the, to say the, that. Uh, I was just about to say right? that. I was yes. like, man, okay. yes. I, was, I was trying to get Little, work. That's when Warren G was on the, the episode. Uh, who was performing? When? Warren G. Uh, and, Lil and, and Little Zane. And Little Zane. And Little Zane. Oh, That's when I had the, the microphone. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. I'm ready. Right. We on the road. Forget you, Seymour. I know I was good. Matter of fact, I was off the chain. Dang. Good God. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, forget like you, Seymour. I know Seymour. I was good. Matter of fact, I was off the chain. Uh, uh Dorian. Okay. Thank dog, man. <laughs> You know you were saying. Yeah, me. it was your was me. It was me. Line. Man, did you? Who's you got to rewind the tape. Who, Seymour, this one when y'all redid um, America's Idol. American Idol. Seymour. Oh, right, right, Seymour right, right, Simon. Right, <laughs> right. You don't know. He said right. No, no, man, no, I remember that. that. So because they that sang Freestyle yeah, Unity. Freestyle Unity. Sang. I remember what? that song, okay. man. Right. That, that, that time oh, I remember that song, man. Okay. Uh, what song did you say? It was that one. That one. That, that someone I love heart. you or something like, girl, I just want to say I, I love you or something like that. Yeah. Love song and then, like you remember. Yeah, I actually kind of do, man. Freestyle Unity Can only you give does us a little songs. taste of that? No. Right. But, yeah, man. Do you have a sample? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one is anyway. pretty simple. Okay. Holy cow. That's me. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely. Man, see. That's your, that's your line. Oh. There we go. All right, last one. Oh, your mama show can't move. That's, that's me. That's, that's me. All day. Man. That's me. <laughs> now you remember that line. Yeah, I remember that Talking one. Talking to Kim. Oh, man. I know about so, mama's right. moving. So half of the, I can say out of five, you guys want to remember about two or three of the episodes. See, and that's not you guys. It, it was me. It, was just, it all depends, man. We just trying to test you. Cause right, you're yeah, you me. Know, you know, I'm just saying, you know, those are the Hey, You're testing me, yo. Oh, my, I did my research. We do we all do right. that over here. All right. See, what, what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Next game. But anyways, man, I actually went in the cut, man. I actually watched um, the premiere um, of season two as well. Uh, we I did learn where the, the shop Nadine came from, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I learned a lot about the show. My thing is with you guys' characters, 
how much in real life are you as Jay? Mm. Uh, well, I have mm. two kids, mm -hmm. um, so I am a father. But you know your kids. <laughs> yeah, I do, but, but I try to implement what I think would be Father Lee and give him advice, even yeah. though, you know, I, I've never gone through it. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we're getting to know each other and learn each other. So um, it, in season two, we have uh, amazing writers and uh, the creator of the show, Bentley Evans, yeah. um, a good dude. Yes. He's our uh, EP, he's our executive producer, uh, writer, director. Yeah. Um, but in season two, I think they wrote more for uh, Dorian, the actor, Ken L, the actor, the actor yeah. and understand what we're strong at, our strengths, yeah, right. and incorporate that more with uh, what our characters are, mm -hmm. too. So you see a mesh, uh, a good um, mesh of uh, both our character and what our personalities are. And Ken, how does Kenny, like, in, is involved with your real? I mean, you know, hey, I, I always look at my characters and approach them in the reality that they're set in, mm -hmm. you know, and, and being that you know, Kenny comes from a, a you know a dysfunctional family. You know, reaching out for his father. You know, and uh, I look at that. I have my, my many of my boys, my friends that I've talked to about these situations, just to just to find the honesty in the character. You know, um, and like I said, it's a comedy. Right. So you know, it's it's being able to use this material and and to find myself in it and make it as as real as possible. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's 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 what I love about this show and the character is, you know, being able to identify with. Hey, you don't know this man. But you're searching for something, mm -hmm. you know. You just came out of the military, you know. You're you're married. You're going through a divorce, you know, and you're trying to put this your your life together. And it just seems that you can only get that from your father. And yeah, although yeah. you come to your pops when you ain't got nothing, <laughs> right? It's, it's the fact that he. <laughs> I do the best I can, son. I do the best I can. <laughs> so so the, the fact that you know it's it's you're seeing this this moment where you have this father who can, you know, possibly be having regrets about not, you know, having this relationship and this and this son that's reaching out to have this relationship and you're you're seeing this this mesh mm -hmm. happen and it's developing and, and you look at the reality of life that we really live in and right. see how many other families and, and, and brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers are not even seeing that. Yeah. But when they see this show they're like like man, you know, it, it's it's that it's that simple. It's mm -hmm. that simple. Just just dropping your guard. And so when it comes down to bringing honesty to my character, man, I, I really look at my, my friends to help bring that. I look at the situation and just and just try to give it the go, man. And at the same time, have fun with it. Right. You know? Exactly. Because I, I noticed the chemistry between you two. I know you guys have worked together for for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I even Very watched good. how like at <laughs> I even watched the whole like. When you would talk to Jay, and when Jay would talk to Kenny, it was more so like he would say son, but you would call him Jay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, he calls me pop sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it depends what the situation, situation is. is. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. You, at the same time, it, it's cool that you notice that mm -hmm. because that is a, a, a dynamic in in the relationship where it's like, man, I can't even call this dude my dad. Right. You know, he's not treating not me like only a that, dad. He's a grown ass man. Exactly. You know? So it's like, but at the same time, it's 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 just a weird situation mm -hmm. and. And in real life, it's a real situation, but mm -hmm. to see it play out on television, right. you know, it just it just makes it that much easier right. for you know people to try to implement that in their own lives. Right. Yeah. I definitely related because I actually did not meet my mom's family until her funeral. Right. So like having to deal with going to meet some your family member for the first time, like yeah. I've dealt with, and I think that was more the reason when the show came across our table, right. we were like, I, and I and I looked at it, and I, I read, I saw the first season's premiere on second season two, and I was like. Ah, oh, let me let me look into this a little bit more. Right. Yeah. So working with Kalita, oh, <laughs> that is like my heart right there. That, that woman is the true definition of this shirt right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell you, crack, baby. that woman. Oh. We Kalita, you guys, we know her from um, the, the Bernie Mac show. Bernie she Mac was the wife on the Bernie Mac yes. show. Yes, and looks the same. Yeah, yeah. but that's a beautiful I, woman. I I beg to differ. I think she looks even better. Better. Yes, yeah. she does. Yeah. yeah. Um, Kalita yeah. is such a joy. She adds a whole new element to to the show um, she took over Nadine's shop mm -hmm. uh, Jack A's character my ex-wife she runs off uh, with this dude and uh, to Europe and gets married so I need somebody to replace her right. and take over the shop mm -hmm. so I'm interviewing folk and she boom she walks in I'm yeah. 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 Yeah, she does walk in. Just, just off the walk in. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, this so. This is turn into an interview. Yeah. But uh, we kind of played this cat and mouse game, and uh, she's. Well, we'll see if she's my new love interest or, or not. Or not. Yeah. But yeah, but she's going to keep us on, uh, on a toe. But uh, 
the th thing I really love about Kalita is not only she's sexy and beautiful, um, her comedic timing is off Always the chart. Point. Yes. But she can mm -hmm. do those dramatic scenes yeah. and yeah. be serious and get in your face. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, you know, it's 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 been great having her. How is it on set? Because I was watching, when I was watching Crazy. some of the shows, it's like, when you go to a barbershop, <laughs> I haven't been in a while, I shave, shave my own head. <laughs> but when you go, when I remember going to the barbershop, it was, everything was there. Like, and you, everyone talked about something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everyone was, the whole entire barbershop was involved in that conversation all the way going back to the movie coming to america yeah yeah so in the shop were you really cutting hair because some of them dudes hair was like <laughs> jacked up so like yeah. they literally just say hey we're gonna jack your head up just they just asked us to yeah. practice on the first couple of dudes okay and, you know we're learning no oh, man. <laughs> we're learning as we go no i used to actually cut my son's hair okay and i done messed him up many of times yeah, and i'm just like hey put a hat on you'll be fine Dude, Dude, Ken, yeah Ken but, was i mean so Ken we, was over there like Oh nah, man. Hey yeah. man, I mean, dude, I got I got brothers that that cut hair, man. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they Your look wife. at the show. Yeah, my, man, we on the shop actually. Yeah. So you oh, know, the wow. barbers there. Yeah, brother. I mean, you know, shout out to my people at Ivan's Hair Professionals out there in Rancho. Uh, you say know, that one table. What? Ivan's Hair Professionals in Where Rancho. Is it at? Ivan's Hair Professionals in Rancho. That'd be five hundred dollars. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right. Right. Is, that, is it there? Is it there? Yeah. So what eight hundred? I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But uh, honestly, it's like you know, yeah, I have you know barbers that, that watch the show. This is yeah, actually representing barber life. You right, know what right, I'm saying. Right. This is a, a culture that we're representing here, yeah, and right, just right. these are just real circumstances that's making the show real. You yeah. know what I'm saying. It's how we grew up. Yeah. This is what true. it is. Yeah. You know. Man came to that shop to just uh, Let vent, loose. talk yeah. about yeah. whatever they wanted to talk about women, talk about sports. Yeah. Uh, Get high, yeah, yeah, because you can't Not do that me, at home, you know. Yeah, yeah this, this right. Is, the barbershop is also the reason in. to get out of the house. You know, right, so that's exactly. a legitimate reason to get out the house, and that's you know why people are in there all day. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. I, I do exactly. not mind day. waiting for my haircut. Yeah. Right. Like, Yo, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I'll wait. I wait. I got, I got my, I got my meal <laughs> you know, over here. You know, my wife got the kids at the house. Yeah, I'll take my time. And that's why you see some of the same people in every right. Yeah, in the shop. You know, they came to hang out, bringing newspapers, play some chess. The dude selling the bean pies in the city. Man, all day, all day. The dude just sitting at the chest table just waiting. Right. Who next? Who next? Right. I know so many of y'all can reminisce and even in some yeah. in the salons, y'all do the same thing. So same thing. Same thing. But, yeah. try. but um, with you, Doran, let's go back a little bit. We are, I know, um, You've done more than just you know TV hit series and mm -hmm. you know, stage plays and things of that nature. Um, I recently went to a premiere for one of the recent movies you went to, um, produced by Christopher Stokes. Oh, um, a weekend with the family. Yes, um, that was awesome. It was. And you were a clown. That was. <laughs> so, I, I already you. knew when I found out that I was going to be interviewing you. I was like, oh man, this dude is cool. Because even uh, at the premiere, he was clowning. Uh, he was like, <laughs> I think I was drunk. And, but anyway, but, uh, <laughs> and even Wendy, like, I love Wendy. That's, that's, that's my, my girl. heart right there. Like, my, my 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 boo mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. But it was so much fun, man, um, to be able to play with your friends like right. I do on the show, basically. Yeah. But uh, we just clowned, and half of the stuff. Well, I wouldn't say half because Chris did an excellent job writing, but a As lot of the, the stuff is, yeah, 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 don't miss. Gotcha, Chris. Chris Stokes was the executive producer, writer, mm -hmm. and director of uh, the project. With did Marcus, it, um, right? Marcus, yeah, 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 yeah Marcus yeah. was yeah. in it. Carucci, uh, Clifton Powell, who mm -hmm. was a, a nut. Yes, he was. But they're it. all my friends <laughs> uh, too. So we were there. Uh, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. It had a couple of glasses of vino or <laughs> Hennessy, whatever. Oh, but, uh, those are nice. Uh, you nice know, so have. a lot of the stuff you see is just improv mm -hmm. uh, as well, or you know, it's scripted. But we kind of went off the pages a couple of times, and um, you know, and just had a lot of fun. You guys, it was an awesome movie. I think you guys should definitely go see it. Well, actually, it's not in. It's out right. But you, uh, you can run it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can, can run it. You can it. find it. And, uh, it was good. Okay. Um, but uh, also, it's on TV One. <laughs> Yep. And I think that it's in uh, concession uh, right now. But uh, nice. so, yeah, uh, it's a funny movie, and I'm not just saying it because I'm in it. It's it's genuinely. And funny. I'm not just saying it because I saw it, but it was it was actually a really good movie. <laughs> yeah, and it's actually I'll I'll be honest with you for that to be Karuche's first. She put, yeah, she, job, put she put it down. She put it down. She did a good job. job. I was yeah. very shocked. She did an yeah. awesome job. Yeah. Man. Awesome yeah. job. And also Marcus. I've, I've seen Marcus grown throughout his career yeah. in yeah. acting. So once again, Old yeah. Home, uh, you know, Marcus was on uh, Sister, Sister Sister with Sister. me. Mm -hmm. And Kalita. Yeah. We, we started out together. Wow. And Kalita played uh, Show your age, brother. You're showing your age. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> You said 90s, right? Hey, hey, hey. Kalita dated Tim Reed as I was uh, dating Jack A. So we go 
go yeah. way back to to you know really? them days. Yeah. So what do you have going on on the table now? I know you have some kit shows as well. I do. I have mm-hmm. another show. Uh, it's on Nickelodeon. It's called yeah. Bella and the Bulldogs. I play the coach of the Bulldogs. Um, the premise is Bella's a, uh, a cheerleader. The ball is uh, <laughs> thrown to her. Uh, the ref is kind of condescending and says, hey, young lady, can you give the ball to a boy mm-hmm. so we can get the ball back? She's like, I don't appreciate that. Well, <laughs> the ref goes flying in the air because it's Nickelodeon. Uh-huh. And we can do that. <laughs> and I say, hey, young lady, uh, you want to be our quarterback? Mm-hmm. Because our team sucked. And she's like, ooh, me? So that's... Uh, that's what's up, Basically. man. So yeah, so we completed our second season. We did uh, twenty six episodes, mm-hmm. and uh, it, it's going well. Nice. Yeah. And I know Ken, you outside of your TV hit series as well. You know, you got some music thing, man. Yes. Tell I, us what's going on with man, that. I know just, you got the new group right now too, right? Yeah, yeah, man. West Cove Addicts, mm-hmm. man, is doing my thing. We just Say dropped it one a, more time. West Cove Addicts. See, I thought what? it was West Coast Addicts. Yeah, so West I, Cove. <laughs> so I was looking West like West Cove <laughs> Addicts. That's not a good name. It's representing, you know, it's representing <laughs> West Cove Vina. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It, so it. it's West Cove Addicts. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm born and raised in West Cove Vina. Nice. I've been producing for years, so it's like you know, I'm just. Going out there and putting it's my music out, dude. man. Just doing my it's thing, the, man. Go spit us some right quick from huh? Summertime Grind. Oh, you, you, I, I, you know, you all don't want me out here. Yeah, some, yeah, of the, yeah. some of the words I say oh. might not make it on the airwaves. Well, find some uh, words or replace yeah, some yeah, of the words. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> give us some. Guys. All right, I mean, here we go, man. Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> I can't even face that. Yo. It's like, yeah. the sun just shines, but not on me because they rain in terror and destroy my seeds. I don't qualify for their employment needs because I'm overeducated how I came to be. It's painful in the world can strangle, killing uh. at every angle in the city of angels where the pain glows. Like halos, killing your dreams and remaining on payroll. Uh. Just saying. Okay. Right. All right. We, we're not paying him for that, by the way. Ah. <laughs> well, I'm writing that down. <laughs> yes. That was dope, man. Thank, Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. What would you County say? Blues. You're, you're, I, these days, I don't like to ask artists. Yeah. Um, I call them geniuses. Um, I don't like to ask people who are in the in the music world, industry, uh, what genre are they in. Right. Um, I know these days, a lot of people in the, in the industry make up their own genres. Right. Uh, what do you, what, how would you, what artists, other artists, would you say your music is? It's somewhat like. Um, I mean, I'm really into you know Kanye West, mm-hmm. uh, Pharrell. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I like Lupe Fiasco. That's yeah, you know, I like I like a lot of a lot of conscious music. Up, uh, I mean, Most Def, uh, Talib Kweli. I mean, it's you know Paris. There's a, a bunch of brothers, man. Dead Prez. I mean, I, I really like a lot of conscious rap. I listen to a lot of conscious rap, man, because I feel that hip hop is is so dynamic. Mm-hmm. And it's and at the same time, you know, we're marketing, you know, trying to put mm-hmm. stuff on the radio. And when we have an art music, we got to have a place where we could play it, where it's, right. you know, it's, you don't have to always party, man. You can always right. learn some from some music, man. Right. Especially like uh, Erica Badu. Uh, you know, I love Erica Badu. Yeah. So far. And we don't, we don't. It's like we don't uh, get a chance to see the the spiritual side of hip hop. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I feel that's being neglected. We got to really get into that, man. Yeah, I definitely. mean, it's just our culture. We got to embrace we it. We got to have you back on. A, we have a music show as well. We got to have you back. And I come love on, that. Man. Love that. But um, speaking with your music, though, are you getting an opportunity to, to you know perform anything on in the cut or? Yeah, yeah. Actually, okay. um, I did perform a, a verse on in the cut, man, and it was it was pretty fun. Um, we have a, a character on there named Stella, who is uh, mm-hmm. Smitty's daughter played by uh, John Marshall Jones uh, but Stella man I end up kicking a verse for her man and Bentley allowed me to uh, you know indulge uh-huh. in my, my music so uh-huh. I ended, you know hey Bent good looking out bro. <laughs> good looking out man <laughs> I know right <laughs> no I mean keep, keep doing it <laughs> yeah man not because the thing is man Bentley dude that's got so much respect for this man because yeah. he's, he's, a, he's a creator right. you know what I'm saying and, and a lot of us out here you have a lot of ideas that we want to get off the ground but mm-hmm. this brother actually writes mm-hmm. produces directs, you know, and has the studio and the facility to put this out there. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, you, everybody knows who Tyler Perry is, you mm-hmm. know, but we got Bentley Kyle Evans. This dude is associated right, with some of the biggest, you know, uh, uh, comedians and, and biggest actors in the game. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you got your Jamie Foxx and Martin, Martin Lawrence. Lawrence. I mean, come on, man. This yeah. dude, and, and to be associated and affiliated with this brother, mm-hmm. with this venture on Bounce TV. Hey, we bouncing, baby. <laughs> on Bounce TV. You know, TV, I, our way. TV Yeah, man, TV mm-hmm. our way. Y'all will now plug it. I'm just saying, man. I mean, dude, <laughs> this, this, this opportunity that we have right yeah. now, man, with this platform, it is it's, it's beautiful, We're bro. truly blessed. It's That's truly blessed, man. One more thing I want to add about Bentley. Yes. He's an actor director. Yes. yes. Actor director yeah. meaning that even though he was an actor he knows how to talk to yeah. actors to get the best performance out yeah, of them well, not only that he allows us to be 
uh, as creative as we, as we want to be. Mm -hmm. The words are already there on the paper. We, if we feel like embellishing or whatever, he's like, go for it, yeah. you know? And we're, we're a bunch of professional actors who's been in this game for a second, so we vibe off to each other, you know, <laughs> really well, and, you know, the stuff is bounced. Uh, yeah. Especially John uh, Marshall Jones, who's oh. not here today, <laughs> yeah. who plays my sidekick in the... Um, the uh, awesome the, role. Yeah, yeah Smitty. Is Smitty. Is Smitty. <laughs> if you, don't, uh, you might know him from the, uh, the Father on Smart Guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But a uh, real creative dude. And the three of us together, yeah. you know, in the, the barbershop, you know, it, it, it works. It yes, really it does. does. And Bentley allows us to do that. Yeah. And w one more thing before I, we go any further, mm -hmm. I'd be remiss in not uh, including uh, Laura Hayes, who plays oh, Mabel. Yes. Who's Laura, Mabel. Mabel. Who oh, is my. absolutely <laughs> hysterical. <Mabel> <laughs> yeah. She owns the uh, soul food restaurant <laughs> that is close uh, in that shopping right. center. Yes. And we know her from um, Queens of Comedy, Comedy yes. and Beauty Shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's been, a, she's been around for a second for, for, for a moment yeah, yeah. so I, as a, as i kept looking through the cast um on the show man you pretty much work with everyone that's on the yes. cast how is it coming when you're on the first day of set the first taping and it's like it's probably like just y'all just hanging school. out <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, cool. yeah, man. You know, we ain't seen each Just other in a second or, or whatever. <laughs> we'll run each other, you know, into each other. But it is a, it is like your second family. Mm -hmm. You know, after the the Parkers, I had withdrawals. You know, mm -hmm. I seen these uh, <laughs> brothers and sisters more than I saw my re uh, real family. Right. You know, so we worked from uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Yeah. We f filmed on yeah. Thursday. We were off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. I could not wait to come back. Come back. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> On Monday until nice. you know what my badass yeah. little kids did, and, yeah. you, know, <laughs> you know, just hear right. the story. So beautiful, you know, man. after you know doing that for six years or whatever. Um, to go away and you know you don't see these people every day and we all stay in touch and, yeah. and whatnot but it's not the same right, as right, right. you know so and people ask me that all the time it's it's a weird thing but yeah when, are you are you all like we. I've seen some of the the guest stars that comes on as, mm -hmm. as well. Um, we do know them from their own, you know, career that they mm -hmm. have as well. I'm in television, maybe, and singing Angie Stone. Mm -hmm. uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Angie Stone plays my sister this season. My auntie. Uh, Demma, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Demma. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, yes. Uh, no, uh, who w uh, did a brilliant job. Yeah. We had yes. Rolanda Watts on, uh, Ernest Thomas yep. Uh, yep. from What's Happening. Yep. Um, Kenny Lattimore. Kenny Lattimore, yep. who actually sang a little ditty. Uh, yeah, yeah, there. yeah, but, yeah uh, man. Uh, Kenny did a great job, and he plays uh, a character that's totally different from himself. Yeah. He's a little yeah, shady. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just odd to, to see. I, I'm I'm anxious to see it because just to think Angie Stone acting. I mean, you, she was on Hollywood D, R&B Diva, so that's, yeah. it is kind of like a little acting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was totally different. But, uh, I mean, yeah. we we go at it. Mm -hmm. um, we're yeah. we're not the best uh, siblings. Oh yeah, so, yeah man. Sibling um, rivalry, we, bro. We hadn't talked in in many many years. And oh, that's um, the one you wanted to dead. You said uh, she's dead. Because yeah, you wanted yeah, to meet her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's exactly. my auntie. I'm yeah, trying to meet yeah. my aunt. Yeah, you exactly. are here God you know rest in peace. Yeah. 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 So but are you dead to me, so she's dead to you. Yeah. Are you <laughs> but are you guys like on set, like, because this is kind of like the first kind of big thing, even with Jackie Christie, like, this is a like a big acting thing. Absolutely. Like, are they asking you questions? Are you like, Telling them like, okay, do this on this part or do this on that part. Um, a, a lot of people bring stuff to uh, the they table. Bring, they do their thing. They man. bring stuff, and I, you yeah. know, I, my personality <laughs> is such that I might suggest something, but yeah. I do it in a, a way that I make them feel like it's their idea as well. well. Which, it, it, you know, they're probably doing it, but not to the full extent. And right, I, right. you know, the end result would be this mm -hmm. if you did, you know, yeah. that kind of yeah. thing. And it's just helping, encouraging the scene and, and whatnot. And we all do that. Yeah, so. we all do. It. You know, we whatever is gonna make that scene even better work, than man. you know. Yeah. How often are you guys are like redoing scenes? Like is it like a <laughs> like a? Uh, I would think with you guys it'd be easy, especially with you. you it's just scene. man. I mean, playing off Dorian, dude. I mean, this 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 dude right here. It's, it's he hard just, to keep He always face, comes though. with it, dude. Nah, Dorian, man. This brother <laughs> always comes with it, man. I mean, his professionalism is incredible, man. I mean, he's a great mentor. I mean, come on, man. You, you know, you still want me to Look, twenty. But keep going. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, nah, nah, the brother, he's, he's great, man. I, I mean, he helps me out a lot, you know. There's, there's, there's nah. situations where, you know, you have to have those proper feeds, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes you got to take the joke, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, right. and Dorian, he just, he knows how to analyze that 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 script, man. And, and sometimes when things are working or not working, he can say, hey, you know, let's, let's try it this way. And it just pops, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I mean, we have a scene that this brother, you know, me and him haven't had a, a, a scene where we were, like, having this, 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 
bumping yeah. of the heads, yeah. but we got one. Yeah. And this brother gave it to me. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> violated yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it, right. it's great, uh, especially <laughs> acting off of uh, uh, Ken here, is because our uh, scenes, not only uh, are they funny, but we have the most dramatic stuff yeah. um, because it is that getting to know each other yeah, and um, you know vibing off each other. And thank God we already have the foundation that we've worked together for so long. But, you know, it just... Knowing this brother, you know, personally, mm -hmm. it is such a blessing. I've never seen this brother in six years, and I say it all the time because it's <laughs> yeah, unbelievable it. yeah. that yeah. I've never seen a man or upset. Man, I mean, you walked in, your energy was there. I mean, you know, yeah. it's just this I, man. I can't say the same for myself, but <laughs> <laughs> never. And if he is upset, get that we tip just don't your know. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> saying, Let's start this over. I, I, I don't care. Now, now, those of you that are not in LA right now, it's 105 degrees. Low this. Oh my goodness! In LA right now, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> we're, Ken, we're waiting for Ken to come in. Ken walks in. Hey, y'all! I come in. I'm like, man, don't yeah. talk to me right now. Right? right. <laughs> it's like, don't talk to me right now. <laughs> the heat <laughs> makes you mad, but this dude come in. Hey, man. I'm here, man. Hey, dude, what? when you walk into a building, man, I, I, I'm representing the right. culture, man. Right. I'm representing. I can't. You know, you walk in with bad energy, man. It's like, dang, there's nowhere else to go but up. You know, yeah, let's, yeah. let's let's at least go up before right, we start right, going right. down. All the way up. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? I know, right? Hey, hot boy. <laughs> Speaking of today's culture, man, is this is this show is what is needed with with everything that's going on right now? Well, it's needed because I need a job. So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I need a, I need a check. Yeah, it's very needed. <laughs> Would be my money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I can't believe I said that. No, absolutely. <laughs> but it's needed. so true. Uh, <laughs> no, um, you know the thing about our show, it, it's relatable. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, it, and it's every character. You you have that auntie out there that is just you know, in, the, in Mabel's character who mm -hmm. just is hitting on everything. Yeah. Um, you know, cooks and throws it down mm -hmm. and just is obnoxious. <laughs> Uh, you know, just uh, the crazy uncle uh, yeah. Smitty, who you know yep. <laughs> doesn't say anything and isn't very. Well, I wouldn't say intelligent. He just has a way of doing things. He expresses right. it differently. Yeah, <laughs> a, little, a little differently. So um, yeah, that's water over the bridge. <laughs> okay, okay. Man, so are we looking for any new people that you know? Any good guest co-stars, like big, big, big co-stars? Are we looking to see? Huh? Like, like, I don't know, that like, a, like Hillary, a like setup. Hillary Clinton, that or like, like yeah. Obama. I was talking to Obama. I'm still waiting. You better turn my text, Obama. <laughs> you know you're getting out the house in a minute. Holler at your boy. Oh man, got a job for you. Come on, come on. We can have <laughs> Michelle come on the show. Uh, yeah. Michelle would be man, awesome. Would but you know what? It, I think the show is just going to get bigger and bigger. I mean, yeah. as it was, we the the uh, amount of talent that we got this year, people mm -hmm. are taking notice of the show right. and yeah. saying, hey. Um, you know, and Bentley has a rapport with most actors, yeah. Yeah. especially uh, actors of color. Um, and they're like, hey, uh, put me on the show. I know, yep. you know, somebody's got to have an uncle on right, or, right, right. or something, you know. So yeah. come, please join yeah, us. Man. <laughs> Play Check with it us. Out. And yeah. a lot of people think that, that you can't get bounce TV. Tell them how they can get bounce TV. It, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 I'm so good at this. I don't have bounce TV. What? Yes, you do what have bounce, bounce TV. You know, no, all you have to do is bounce. go to Target or uh, Best Buy, something like that. Get a twenty to thirty dollar antenna, attach it to the back of your TV. Boom, you have fifty new channels, including Bounce TV our way. <laughs> 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 just you think I've done this once or twice? Right, right. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, you, can also go, you can also go to the actual Bounce um, website as well and download yes. it. Download from there as well. And you can yeah, see they, the they whole and the entire Yeah, uh, first you can download season. the app exactly. at, at Bounce TV, the app, and uh, watch out you know, all the episodes before that, the mm. seasons, and other you know, original programming that Bounce offers. And once you TV get that antenna and once you download that, just be, be mindful that it's every Tuesday. What, what can Michelle say? Be mindful? Yeah, that's be, something for. Be, <laughs> mind, <laughs> be mindful. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you keep it in mind that every Tuesday, guys, 9 p.m. was it Pacific? Eight, yes, and eight, eight Central. Central. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. six o'clock if you're on the West Coast. It's a W West Coast. Damn. You guys. Yes. So tell us why we should why I should watch this show. We just did for the uh, last uh, four uh, years. Tell me, tell me simple. Is this tell me Matrix? simple. No, no, no. Tell me simple. Okay, give me three words why I should watch this show. TV our way. Dang. Now, that was good though. Cause <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> hey, that's another one. I like that one. Cause I'm on. No, 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 no. Cause I'm on it. On it. On it. 
I don't need it. It's one word, man. Oh, uh, man. Well, thank you guys for coming and, and chilling with us, thank man. Yes. Watch the last yes. I loved it, man. Tell the people where they can find you on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, yeah, on, on Twitter. Twitter. On Twitter? <laughs> on Twitter? I caught that earlier, too. <laughs> Yo, hey, you can find me on Twitter, uh, on Twitter, uh, at I am Ken L. That's it. And on Instagram, same thing. I A M K E N L. See yeah. how simple that is? Very simple. And our youngest person in the room doesn't have Twitter right now, but. I am Twitter. not on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> but I am on Instagram, uh, Dorian Wilson underscore. Check me out. Underscore is the line oh, at the, just the line. Like you know, the one yeah, I had to buy that to myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a hyphen, so don't bring it up. Keep yeah, it low. Oh, Keep man. It low. Thank you guys again for coming, man. Thank Make you, sure you all go out and catch In the Cut on Bounce TV, TV, your way? Our, our, our way. way. Our, our way. way. See, yes. everyone that's inclusive. Our way. Like, Everyone, everyone, Thank you, you know? for sharing. Yes. <laughs> you can find me on all Instagrams and, and uh, Instagram. You can find me on all social media handles. as Cortez G West. They're all the same everywhere. I don't believe in followers. I believe in supporters. So support me and I'll support, support you. Us. Support and, uh, us. Support us <laughs> and support us. <laughs> make sure on you your also Twitter. On your Twitter. <laughs> follow us on After Buzz TV. We would love to have you guys rate us the top five on this interview. Watch it over and over again. And make sure you watch and cut over and over again. All right, guys? Yes. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Peace out. Yes. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.